Um, my name is Kunsu Palapa, third year medicine student at the Overlady of Fatima University. So today, this key video, I want to show you how about the basic um, suturing skill and including perform um, how to perform the simple interrupted suture. And then I want you to know the meaning of simple interrupted suture first. That is a most appropriate uh, for the wood with well in proximate skin edge and no tension. And I will show you the suturing material and show you about the technique of the suturing and you should adopt to suture safely and effectively. Okay, first one, I will show you how to hold the needle holder first. Right? Okay, needle holder should be held with your dominant hand and then put your thumb put your thumb through one needle and take your link finger through one the outer ha handle and then do like this and index finger paste on the sharp like this. Okay. This is called forcep, but I have the tooth forcep. You can see this tooth like this, okay? And how to hold the forcep? You should hold the forcep with your non-dominant hand, like a pen, like this. And then you can pick up the skin up when you enter the needle, like this. And then, um, when you use tooth forcep to manipulate skin, don't keep it too tightly because you may damage the skin. This one called scissor that used for cutting the suture and how to hold it. Hold like a needle holder like this and when you put your fing index finger on the brightness and you will make the movement more. Cut chuk, 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 chuk. <laughs> like this. This one is nylon suture, so I use number four seal. And how about the nylon suture? Nylon suture is non absorbable monofilament suture material and used for the skin coarser. Okay, this is a sterile procedure, um, this is a sterile area and therefore the wood and surrounding skin must be prepared with antiseptic solution before passing a dab around the sterile field and you must wash your hand for it and then where the sterile go this one Okay, and let's start. I will open the uh, nylon pack. And then open. You turn needle holder to hold it out. Pen it like this and clamp the needle by the needle holder. Okay, and then you use the first step to hold it if it cannot hold it correctly. Add the one third of the needle okay and then 
Firstly, you choose to watch of the wound when if it dirty. So, and then after that, the first step to hold the needle and then cap the one third of the chop of the needle by the needle holder and then pick up the skin and pin the skin at the uh, on the skin surface with the perpendicular angle or 90 degree and then entry through the skin uh, at the, the mist layer or middle layer and then you will see the needle out and you can use the forceps to pull it out and let the needle holder to cap again okay and then pick up the skin on the another side and then through entry the skin and exit you will see the needle exit of the skin and you use the needle holder to pull it out the suture and you can use the hand to pull the suture okay and then you will see the suture on the light side allow the two or three centimeter up the tail and it is the approximately for the for when you tie when you make a knot tie and then you should to put the um, needle holder on the suture and loop twice time and then you the needle holder open and clap the end of the suture and then tie it not too much okay and cut your hand and make you will get first knot and then you do one knot again by under the suture one loop and then tie it do it again above the suture clap the end of the suture tie it and the last one okay so you will see the knot and you will get the square knot uh, foot knot okay. and do it again until your portrait is completely Nowhere else to go All I do is 
fall Feels like I can make it More than I could bear Giving up is all that I can Surrender to you Take me in your arms and hold me With your love Find my rest and I can see you seven day and you can remove the suture out and I will show you how to remove the knot out okay you should put a tail and cut underneath the knot and remove it why should I do like this because it will prevent the cause of infection of the wood Okay, it's done. 